John. <laughs> Sam. What's you up? You ever um try something new sometimes and you say, I bet this could be really fun. I bet walking to get a haircut because I moved could be really fun and cute. Um, and then it just turns out to be a disaster. Is that ever, does that ever happen to you? Have I ever walked to get a haircut? I, th- I think I have. I think I've walked to get a haircut and it was not fun. Of course, I think I walk like, I think it took me two hours to get there. <laughs> it's one of those, it's one of those things where you're like, I think if I start walking, it'll take me like 15 minutes, but then it absolutely mm-hmm. was, it absolutely took longer than that. Dude, did, my place. Did you get your haircut? Yeah, it's next door. It's next door. I was, I literally Googled barber. I was like, this is going to be a really, really good fun time. And I search it and I'm like, oh my God, it's walking distance. Like I've always wanted to really walk to get a haircut. I've never done that before. And uh, dude, she messed me up. She <laughs> messed me up, John. So the walking wasn't this, even the problem. It was the haircut itself. This story was like the wildest way to end my Thursday. So I'm looking for barbers. I find this place and it's really close. So I'm like, oh, okay, this it was one really that you've fun. never been to before. Yeah, yeah. That's, and it was that the, is like, a mistake. That is like, an absolutely terrible mistake. Dude, not to flex, but it was at like a nice place. Like it was in the basement of like a fancy place in St. Louis. Um, so I was like, this is going to be good service. Like I'm going to have a good time just because like, I don't know. I think that I'm ready for something new. So I schedule it. She's like, yeah, we have one at 540. And I only mention this woman's ethnicity for the context that I think the social norms in Albania are different <laughs> than in the U- United States. Okay. All right. Um, so we get there and like, I, you know, I nobody greets me cause they're busy. It's just like these two women that are running it. And I'm like, that's cool. Like I'm ready to get this rock star haircut. Like I'm ready for rock it. Star nuts. <laughs> and I sit down and then they finally are like, Oh, what, what's your name? And I was like, Sam. And they're like, Jack, ja- we don't have a Jack. We don't have a Jack. And I'm like, Sam, <laughs> dude, Sam dude, doesn't sound anything like a Jack. They're, they're like, there's no Jack on the list. And I'm like, no, I called you. <laughs> 14 minutes ago and you said that you could get me in today like i i'm sam and then i said my last name yeah and and they're sam, like, i oh. update <laughs> yeah sam i update and they're like yeah yeah we got you on the list it'll be like five minutes i'm like okay okay that's a little weird so then uh this woman <laughs> finishes up and she goes sam sam is it you i'm like yeah, that's me oh come come on back come on back <laughs> and i'm like okay this is going okay so far she goes like uh what are we doing with the hair today? What's the move? And What's I'm like, the move? I'm like, okay. Um, well, so I, I've actually got a couple pictures on my phone. Like I will actually pull these up and show you. I, I think I want to do something a little bit different. Like I've kind of just been like, you know, doing it up for like a long time. I want to do something maybe a little bit different. Sort of real, like straight real quick on. question. When you yeah. showed her the pictures uh, on your phone, was it like, did you show them, did you show them like uh, something from YouTube or from Twitter, from social media? No, it was just like a Google image. Uh, that's worse. Like an image of yourself from Google. It wasn't of me though. It was of other people that had the hairstyle that I wanted. Oh, okay. Okay. So I've done that yeah. before where it's like, where it's insanely awkward because I'd be like, I, this is how I usually get it done. And it's like my Twitter or YouTube or something like a video of me. And then that, all, that starts a conversation of like, what do you do? What is this? And <laughs> it's, it's terrible. So, so I try to avoid that. I try to be just, yeah. I just, now I just remember, well now to be fair, uh, Karina's mom owns a salon here. So like, dude, dude can I come yeah, in? I'm set for life. Oh my God. But, I actually need a good start. <laughs> but before it was like, I would just remember the numbers, like four on the sides in the back and just like an inch off the top. Instead of yeah. showing them a picture just to avoid all of that, all of that Dude. mess. So I show her the pictures and she goes, let me see. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one you want. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like with my hair. And I'm like, oh, it's a, you know what? Uh, I actually just do like usually longer on the top, like shorter there it on the is. sides. It's yeah. all it's all good. Um, I you know usually I I do like uh <laughs> and as I'm talking, she goes, "What you show me is not going to work. This is not going to work with your hair. We what? can't do that." And I was like, oh, um, uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. First in, of in all, that case, how like, dare her? 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, Who the John, fuck does just, she think she wait, is? Just wait where this story goes. Okay. So I'm like, I'll do a. I usually, I do like longer on the top. She goes, oh, uh, with this, with this, and I'm like, uh, yeah, like I just don't want to take like a ton off, like maybe like a half inch or something. Uh-huh. Oh, this is doing nothing for you. <laughs> this, see this, this do nothing for you. This does nothing for you right now. This, this is not nothing. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, did you just walk yeah. your happy ass back home? That's what I would have done. Like, fuck I this. Was, so I'm already in, dude. And I'm like, like, anxiety's through the roof. And I'm just like, uh, like, how do I even respond? I'm like, um, yeah. She goes, you walk in here, poof. Are you an artist? You look like an artist. <laughs> do, 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 do you do art? And I was like, I mean, um, kind guy, like I make YouTube videos. YouTube videos. What is that? You 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 post you put YouTube. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just a hobby. It's just it's just for. It's fun. just a hobby. Like, like I'm just like <laughs> let's just, just not hobby. make this conversation go any longer. Uh-huh. So she's like going back and forth, and then she she's doing my hair, and I'm like, okay, it's, it got quiet again, and I'm she's like, what do you want on the sides? I'm like, usually I do a two or three. We're doing a six, six on the sides. Oh, she just told you what we're doing, and I was like, okay, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, so she keeps going. Oh. I was like, so you've been cutting hair a long time? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so so this what what you showed me before, the this the y- you're you're losing your hair. Your hair is going away, and there's a lot of men that go through this. Um and, and then she, I kid you Did not, she, as you she just brings spot? that up out of nowhere. She takes my mask off and what? goes, Oh, very handsome though. You have those other features, they'll carry you through your life. Dude. And then just goes back like that. Just that interaction didn't happen, and I'm like, this "Are you just woman, sitting in this in the chair in shambles?" Oh, dude, I'm fucking like <laughs> oh, just fuck, demoralized. I'm like, "Listen, I know I don't have the greatest hair in the world. I see the YouTube comments. I'm aware, but that's just how it be." <laughs> like, dude. that's not like I said. Oh, let me have the not perfect, most model esque hair. So like, she's just laying into me. And like this goes on for another ten minutes of her just like, you look great. This is not going to work for you. We can't do this. And like we get to the end, and she basically just has given me a comb over, and my hair looks shorter than it's been in years. And she goes, "You you like this?" And I'm like, "I'm trying to get out with my life." So it's literally like this, and I'm like, "It's great. I really like yeah, it. Yeah, I love this well, so much. Do, Thank you so much. How, how do you style it? How do you style?" It? So I was like, "Well, normally I'll." You know, kind of like push it, push it to the side a little bit. I mm-hmm. Oh no, no, no! You, you, <laughs> we we have to take this off if you want to do that. All of this, the right side has to go if you want to do that. And I'm like, I like your hairstyle. Come to think of it, it's really great. I like this. This is great. <laughs> That's what I paid twenty eight dollars for this haircut. Twenty eight dollars. So, be dude, insulted. I barely make it out of there with my life. I barely make it out of there with my life. And so uh, woman, you're going back next next week, right? Sh- well, it's in walking distance. How could I not? <laughs> Dude, so you're not convenient. actually going back, are you? Did you okay, tip her? There's two stylists. So I'm thinking if I don't get the other woman, that there's a ch- The other woman seemed to be like great. Like she seemed like she was on her shit. But yeah, dude, I went in and I was I was ready for a new haircut. I got a new outlook on life. Uh, it was not something I was prepared for. Sam, that but... sounds terrible. I'm not going to lie. That sounds like the worst thing. Oh, that sounds it was like the great... worst experience. I would have just sat in the chair. I, you, one, actually, I would have left. I would have just said, fuck this. I'm leaving and left. Or two, I would have just sat in the chair and cried. Nothing in between. Yeah. Nothing in between. Yeah, I, I was not emotionally okay like during that time. Like I was kind of in the middle, like unironically of like a, an anxiety attack of just like- Not shocked. Because you feel trapped in the mm-hmm. chair- and she's messing with your hair constantly. And, and she's shitting just, on you. And you're getting to more. I was like, <laughs> I guess some, like, I've heard, like, listen, I've heard some guys are into that, but like, it didn't do much for me personally. <laughs> yeah, I didn't this is like not getting going to shit work. on for 30 minutes against my consent, you know? But. Oh, Sam. That was, that was, that I, was I my thing. It, it was a better week, but. How was your week? Was, what did you, what did you do? Uh, way better than that. I'll tell you that I just, much. Asked, I, I just asked the question how your week was. Oh my god! But okay, this is but to be fair, the other podcast. To be fair, 
or loud because we haven't really talked much this week. I haven't posted much this, this week either. So really just people haven't seen anything of me. We d- I did a show, uh, you know, not really recapping the Apple event from last week, but sort of giving my reaction. And then uh, Karina's dad, who passed away a few months ago, it would have been his 66th birthday on Friday. So oh, like Thursday, Friday, family got together, uh, at her parents' house, and we just sort of hung out there and had a good time. And so, no videos got posted, but here I am. Hello, hello. And hey. and to be fair, there has been no news this week. There's like Dude, nothing. It's been, it's been bad. Nothing. There's been absolutely nothing. We got we got a couple things to to talk about in this show. But first, dude. We got to talk about today's sponsor. So real quick, this episode is sponsored by both Magic Spoon as well as WeVPN. Uh, Right now, we're going to talk about Magic Spoon. This is guys. This is how you know we made it, dude. This is it. This is the this is peak moment in our career. It doesn't get better than this right here. I don't do like any sponsor that comes to the door. But when I heard that Magic Spoon, which is just this like revolutionary new type of cereal that like will just not add pounds to your body when you're eating it because of how it's been made. It's got like no sugars, it's got low carbs, and it's got an insane amount of protein. So like somebody like me that's actually trying to gain weight and like put on muscle and bulk up, this is fantastic because number one, I love cereal and I've always loved eating cereal as I'm a kid. I still kind of am a kid, John and I both are. And like now that we can eat this unashamedly, it is not only great tasting, it is wonderful, and John and I can now say, what do you do for work? And we can say, we promote cereal. <laughs> we promote cereal. Dude, okay, so Sam, they sent us four boxes each, right? And we got them maybe like, I want to say a couple days ago, three days ago maybe. So we each got four boxes. Sam, be honest with me. How many boxes are left? <laughs> How many do you have? <laughs> you know what? I will need to order more soon. Dude, that's all I will say. <laughs> absolutely crazy. I can't believe what is our life. So out of out of all the companies we promoted, you know, a cereal company has to work with us for like, uh, yes, and they're gonna send us cereal. Um, I don't know what flavors you got, but I got like frosted and and peanut butter chocolate. Oh, dude. The favorite was my fave was the fruity, dude. Oh, the yeah, dude, it really tastes good. amazing. It's, just, it's like a competing brand that I won't mention, but without all the sugar. Yeah, and, like and, like I, you can eat. I, so I'm not gonna lie, I ate the oh, entire dude. box of peanut butter. Dude, <laughs> I ate the entire really box of peanut butter one, amazing. and I didn't feel terrible afterwards. Which like uh, number one cereal is one of those things that should be delivered to your door, like just absolutely. unashamedly. Like you should just have a consistent supply throughout your lifetime of cereal. And the fact that Magic Spoon provides that and just a like legitimately better alternative is amazing. Like I don't, I just I. I followed up with our ad agency. I'm going to be real transparent here, like multiple times and was like, get magic spoon on the show and do whatever it takes. <laughs> right. Okay. So if there's a sponsor that you guys support of, of the show, this, this it's going to be, one. it's going to be magic spoon. Dude, guys. It is amazing. So it's been crazy. Cause so they pitched the whole thing. Like, you know, um, you ate a certain cereal as a kid, but then you grew up and like your cereal stayed the same. It's still like the gross, like toy version cereal where it's full of sugar and and it's not good for you. In fact, a lot of the sh- a lot of the cereals that are out now that are like healthy. Not gonna say any brand names, but there's a lot of cereals that promote like you know it's for adults, it's healthy, and all this other stuff has more sugar in in it than the than the ones you ate when you were a kid. The ones that are marketed towards adults now are even worse. They're disgusting. And this like you don't feel terrible. You're eating it. You know it. You know it's good for you. But it's so delicious. And the whole the magic spoon thing. The word magic is the key because I don't know how zero sugar, but it tastes sweet and amazing. And I ate it. It's all gone. It's all gone now. And it's 140 calories a serving. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb and GMO free. You've got the variety pack with the coca, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. And you guys can grab a variety pack today at maddoxpoon.com slash genius bar. The link okay. is down in the description on YouTube. If you didn't know, there's a video version of the show now. Uh, description on YouTube as well as the show notes on your favorite podcast app, magicspoon.com slash genius bar. Grab your variety pack. Listen, I'm telling you, it's delicious. You won't regret it. And it's $5 off. So like, if there was ever a time yeah. to try some new cereal, you get $5 off with our link. Uh, magicspoon.com slash genius bar and thank you so much to magic thank spoon you. for supporting the show making our dreams come true we got to promote cereal we got to eat we got paid <sighs> to eat cereal 
What are you what are you guys doing with your life? That's I what know, I pro, thought. Promo code genius bar five dollars off magicspoon.com slash genius bar. We love you guys. This is the, this is my dream. <laughs> my my dreams have been achieved. And with with that said, the show's over because it doesn't that's peak us. We promoted cereal. Speaking of dreams, um Go ahead. So we put out a few clips on the channel this week about Apple's event. Yeah, I so I guess and, if you didn't know, uh people of the of the of the internet listeners if you if you generally just listen to the show on apple Podcasts or spotify or whatever uh we now have a youtube channel uh we'll leave a link to that down in the show notes where the video version of the podcast is posted and sam also goes through and like puts up clips throughout the week uh because he's a trooper like that it's really fun i love i love doing it how quick so, how quickly till you burn out though when you're like i don't want to do the clips anymore <laughs> this is terrible never. literally it's so fun i like smile as i put together every thumb like i've wanted to do this for so long and it's just a dream come true um the reason i bring that up is because we had a clip where we talk about the imac and uh my opinions have shifted over the past couple of days i don't know if yours have not gonna lie but- not gonna lie, uh, I, I'm yes. My mine have also shifted. You tell us about your opinions first. We yes. were both kind of critical initially, we and were. the more I look at it, because okay, because Apple explained their methodology. Like, obviously, if you guys are like into the new iMac or you're just on like Apple Twitter or Twitter in general, and you're into mm-hmm. tech, you've probably seen the great concepts or like D Brand now has their little like black outline for the screen or you know everybody's been saying but if we just had an apple logo in the black screen it would make so much more sense it would just look better and i agreed with that until apple actually put out a statement of why it looks the way it looks which i didn't know like this changed my perspective and uh it's because it makes sense so they were like one of the things i said right was why did we use dark, beautiful colors on the back that nobody's going to see and a washed out, ugly color on the front? So the first thing they were like, number one, that's because we feel like it would be too distracting to have a super bright color on the front. And at first I was like, no. And then I thought about <laughs> it and I was like, that actually makes sense. You don't want to be looking at the the chin or the bezel at all when mm-hmm. you're working. So I was like, that makes sense. And then they also, they had a statement about their their ideology behind uh, the white bezels. And I believe, do you remember what they said about the white bezels? I know they had a reason, but I think it was a bit different than- No, I don't, no. I didn't know that they made a statement about this stuff at all. Who did? It was it was Apple. I'm, I'm trying to find a, a reference for Like this. made Apple a direct explains. statement to everyone's criticism? I think so. Um, oh man, I can't, I can't find, I can't find the details. I hate this. Can we cut this part out of the show? Yeah, we just cut it. Do that? We'll cut it out. Oh, I found it, dude! It was in the wallpaper article from Nine to Five Mac. So, so real quick, I want to I want to clarify. Uh, Sam, we we stopped recording, and Sam was looking for this for like, oh, I don't know. I think we were looking for this for at least five ten minutes. I think yeah. here we are. And okay, but it. you you found okay. it. Hit us, Sam. So this is how Apple describes it. They say, with an array of colors, green, yellow, orange, pink, purple, blue, and silver, the new iMac design personalizes and elevates any space unlike any other computer. (laughs) I mean, I don't know if the colors are really going to be what elevates the space. I think it's the the processor, but um, (laughs) no, they go on to say, iMac features softer colors and thinner borders on the front to allow users to focus on their content while the back pops in bold saturated color. Now, the first part of this I agree with. I think the the faded colors will allow you to focus. I don't know if somebody's using dark mode if the white bezels are going to hold up. Right. But Apple yeah. seems to suggest that they will allow you to focus on their content. I, I mean, here's the thing. I guess white would blend better with pastel-y colors like they have than black. Yeah. Which is true. So if they are, I mean, I don't know. I, I've never I had someone with I would still rather have black. I don't think I've, I have not budged on that internally. I still yeah. would rather black bezels. But what I have budged on okay. is the overall design itself, uh, mainly the chin. So when we first saw this, when we first saw it at the event, 
I mean, you guys know I was super pumped. I saw it on t- like on Twitter. I was like freaking out. I was you and I were message were like texting each other back and forth. I was losing my mind. Super exciting. But then after watching the promo back and seeing the design uh, a bit more, I was kind of disappointed by uh, number one, the white bezels to the chin. Like, w- first of all, why is it there? Uh, and then two or I think, I think I already said two, three. Why is there a logo <laughs> on the chin? Okay. Now, I haven't budged on the white bezels. I also haven't budged on the fact that there's no logo on the chin. But I'll tell you what, Sam. So um, I have been looking online for adhesive uh, metal Apple logos that people sell like on Etsy. Okay. Because I didn't want like a sticker, you know. I don't want to put like a sticker on it. I want something that is like actually like metal. The chin is that important to you that you're willing to yes, you want to yes, add a logo? Because yes. that's something else going back to what Apple says. That makes sense to me. Less on the front is less distracting. W- w- fine, whatever, but I still want my fucking logo. Really? <laughs> yeah. You sound like more of a fanboy right now than I do. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now listen, this is what I try to clarify <laughs> because I hate that. I hate that it's like, yeah, I guess on the surface, hearing me say, I want, I want my logo on it. It does like, sound no, like, like, uh, no, it no, sounds like it's coming from a fanboy. I am willing. No, 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 Chad. You're saying <laughs> I'm willing to buy a logo that they did not provide because I want to see it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, Sam, listen to me. God damn okay, okay, it. Okay, okay. I'm not explain, saying explain. that I want the logo on it because, <laughs> oh, I, I need to know it's from Apple. I need people to see the logo. I need people to see the Apple logo. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, I'm just okay. saying it's too empty. And something needs to be there. And for the typical like iMac look, my brain goes, oh, of course, Apple logo. I guess technically I could put anything that I wanted there, but I don't want to put just like a stupid vinyl sticker on there that looks clearly like a sticker. So I've been looking on like Etsy. They have like people have handmade these metal Apple logos, not for the iMac, but just for anything that I'm going to buy them to put there. Because it's too empty for me. The chin, though, I have budged on that. Mm-hmm. Number one, I understand that the computer is <laughs> is in the fucking chin. Like, the whole thing is in there. Amazing, wow, engineering masterpiece. That's fine. But more so, I have budged on the design because... And I think... I, I, I couldn't credit the original person I heard this from. So I'm sorry, original person. But I think Greg's Gadgets, he also made a video about it. Um... There, we're getting to a point where like if we got the concepts that we've been seeing where it's just sort of like an iPad on a stick uh, and there's like there's minimal bezels, there's no chin or anything like that, it loses the hardware design itself. And then mm. and that's where it gets weird. Like when I think about it, like, OK, the screen with the screen off, you can't see the software at all. Then, yeah. It just kind of it just kind of a screen there, and anyone could make a screen that could. I mean, I feel like that. I, the there has to be a balance in the engineering between like, uh, you know, a useful form for for the hardware, but also something that is recognizable. And when you see when we think about the the older iMacs and just like the iconic design that they've had for years. There's that has played a big factor. It's part of the reason why we still have notches on the iPhone. It's because it's instantly recognizable when you see it. Whereas, like you know, especially Android phones, you see a lot of these things, and it, it, whether they have like a little hole punch or they're completely like a hundred percent display, and there's not there's very minimal bezels. You lose you lose the the actual hardware design in that, and you can't recognize which phone it is, what phone it is, who made it, uh, and so. I get it. I'm okay with this design now in terms of like when you look at that, you can tell that it is an iMac. It's not just a screen. You can tell it's an iMac. But then after this design, after this iMac design with the chin, are we, is this, I think Greg's Gadget's title of his video is something like the last great iMac design or something like that because the next design iteration of this would be technically, theoretically, just just a, a display like that anybody could make and you wouldn't be able to tell hmm. from looking at it, at least the front end, that it's an iMac or that it's an Apple computer at all. So I, I have budged on that part. I have accepted that, okay, this is this is an Apple design that I can work with for now. When you see hmm. it front or back, you can tell, okay, that's the new iMac. That is an iMac. I'm still not budging on the white bezels. I hate that. I hate that so much. I 
I, I don't understand. I mean, I understand that like you can they they say you can see the content better or whatever, but like maybe if you're in light mode, but like yeah. everything that I'm using is in dark mode, so then the white bezels just stick out. And I mean, and let's be honest, designers I feel like use light mode. Like, did, did Johnny Ive ever use dark mode? No, <laughs> Johnny Johnny, Johnny Ive, Ive is in light mode himself. So. He, yeah, he is stuck <laughs> in the room still. Like, there's no way that you know. I fully agree on the bezels, but. I, I do appreciate that there's some reason behind it other than just we wanted to try something new. And like I will say this does look a bit more iconic than just black bezels. Like it does yeah. really like the 21.5 inch iMac before does not look like the new 24 inch iMac that we have now. And no. I think that was probably a goal considering how dated the design was. And um, I'm happy that we have the new design and like i'm just looking like right here i just cannot wait to have i, I can't wait to have the new imac like so, I, I really look forward every day to realistically probably a month from now on about may 26th ish I'm yeah sure i feel shipping. like it's been such a roller coaster of emotions for me but i we everything has been decided i'm getting two uh I'm getting a Kareem's getting a pink one and then oh, or I guess cool. a red one. What is do they call it pink or red? It's called it's pink. pink on the front and it's red on the back. It's called pink, which Okay, well that's she's getting that weird. one and I think I'm getting the blue one, but I'm I'm st still struggling with that one because I love the blue color on the back, but I hate the pale blue color on the front. Like it just looks it's like too watered down. It's basically the color know. of the back of your iPad Air though, right? Or is yeah, it, but is the it front of the so? iPad is black. <laughs> you see touche you see touche. <laughs> um i think so, i'm gonna get blue as well um but i'm also considering the silver because that's like play it safe i can't fuck this up it's it's just an imac that's it i okay i'm also considering the yellow and the green <laughs> dog did you say the I yellow know. i said the john my channel logo but the yellow, I, the yellow I that you, the, the iMac comes in, it is does not come in iUpdate yellow. It comes in like fucking ice cream truck yellow. <laughs> but the color in the the marketing material of like the guy that's, you know, the guy that's like in front of the computer. He, uh -huh. like, <laughs> yeah. That's like that marketing shot. I'm like, that's me. Okay. Here's, what, here's another I thing am. I'm thinking about. When we saw the, the iPad Air colors, they looked pretty kind of saturated and vibrant in the promos and stuff. But then when we started seeing them in person, mm. it was not that way. So I'm, we still haven't seen this iMac in person yet. Correct. Nope. I not think that might change a lot of people's minds because I feel like the way it looks in the promos and stuff is going to be slightly off from like your natural lighting at home or when, yeah. you know, we start seeing like in-person videos of these things. I, I, it might be a little bit different. It might change my mind. Ideally, mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I hope that we get to see all the colors on camera. Yeah. I feel like that will change my mind. But I think if I had to order right now, it would be blue. And and Apple has kind of put blue at the top of the page. Like, I have a feeling they have pre-stocked more blue than anything else just uh -huh. because, I mean, they, they that's kind of also like the safest not silver color, I feel. Yeah. Ideally for me, you know, the blue looks great on the back. And then on the front, it is even more washed out than it looks like in those pictures like mm -hmm. how on on my blue ipad air it does not look as blue as it did in the promos in person it's a mm -hmm. little it's a little washed out so i'm hoping that because it's like the blue color looks like the traditional like if you're about to have a baby and it's it, you find out it's a boy it's like that's the color you paint the boys room it's like this really <laughs> gross light blue color and that's not <laughs> what i want on the front but to be fair, and they did not pay us to say anything about this, D Brand put out, uh, I guess, skins for for the whole machine. You can get the whole machine for it. It's like four hundred and ninety nine dollars for the skin for the whole thing. Did you know that? Yeah. How? Yeah, I did. Why? <laughs> why did they do that? Anyway, just right, for the I front. I want to jump in here about D Brand. Hit I've me. never had an affiliation with them, although I think they sent me a skin one time for you. They sent me like this years ago. My iPhone I got from them. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't show for D Brand at the rate John does, so I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
There's a great marketing strategy that D brand and the, well, skin, it's just like a fraud, fraudulent company. I did a deep dive on them on my YouTube channel this summer, actually. And they just like don't deliver orders. So I would mm-hmm. recommend avoiding slip racks. Who, that D-brand, was slip racks. What slip, slip slick, wrap. slip, slick wraps, yeah. slick wraps, S-W. slip, slip um, racks. And, <laughs> and listen, D brand's good. Okay. Like I've gotten this stuff high quality. Here's the thing. You have to contextualize that what you're buying is a sticker. They have done and an even yeah, they're pretty open about that too. Wonderful job of making you feel like you're a part of something more and that uh-huh. you're you're in the community and that you're really contributing. Like I just bought their dark plates for the PS5. Like I mm-hmm. bought their black colored plastic plates because I was like that actually is functionally beneficial. But like when you're buying an iPhone skin, like you are buying a sticker. And, and you are. I just want to like. I just want to like make that clear because I feel like I, I would disagree that they're super open about it. I feel like they're self aware about it. Isn't their Twitter bio like overpriced stickers or something? I want to check it. I feel like they're a bit more. <laughs> uh, I feel like they don't. They're not as clear as I like. No, toxic electric tape is their current bio. Uh, <laughs> electrical tape. But, yeah, I like that one. You know, I I mean, listen, I think it. I think they're great products, but I also think that their stickers and the fact that they are charging five hundred dollars genius market for stickers. Guys, yeah, it's four ninety nine for the whole for the machine, whole machine. Right? or is it just the back? Who who fucking cares? It's four ninety nine. I don't know, but if you I, can get I don't the bezels in the front. <laughs> You can get the bezels in the front for like fifty bucks or something like that. Yeah. Um. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it, dude. My biggest complaint. You shut the fuck up, Sam. It's just All right. A Listen. Bezel. No. <laughs> it's just the a bezel. bezel is. Guys, but the bezel's white, bezel. Sam. The bezel is white, and I don't want the white bezel. Do you they see? They are thin. They are thin bezels. That's all we wanted. Let's give them the iMac Pro to do black. Okay. This is for the common folk that don't care. And I, I don't care that they're white. What? Okay, so then why do you give the? Why do you give a fuck that I'm gonna buy a fifty dollars sticker to put on the front? Because you're ridiculous. <laughs> you just spent fifty dollars to make something black. Yes. Like, what? Yes. Yes, I am. Sign me up. Oh my god. Where do what I is, sign? What is this society? We live in a society, guys. We live in a society, dude. Oh man. The, all the complaints that I have, it's Listen, like that's the best temporary fix for my issue. That is fair. You know what? You're right. What do you if want me to do? I have sharpies. You, do you want me to like sit do... here and dr- try to draw on it? Yo, that would be kind of sick if somebody did like custom iMac bezels and like color them. Like you could get like a design, like stars or like purple. <laughs> or purple. This idea died very quickly in my. <laughs> <laughs> That's why D Brand makes the stickers and Sam doesn't. No, oh, you fuck. God. We just did like a five minute ad for them for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you D brand okay, why did John get an iPhone Martin I didn't pulls get an off iPhone. again I better get an iPhone we'll make sure you get an iPhone Sam just for that ad yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even an ad but the, I kind of just shit on them for a minute <laughs> you did but but you can shit on them all you want because my iMac is going to be black on the front and I can shit them all they want because I have bought their stuff before and it is good stuff. Like, I can, you know like, whose iMac is going to be white and shitty? Yours, Sam's. It's going to be Sam's. white as Sam's. intended. The design influence, the the vision. The iMac designers are going to say, Sam Cole gets to come to Apple events. Really cool guy. Didn't mess up our product and, and make it unrecognizable. John Prosser, mm, sketchy leaker, <laughs> yeah. hates babies, we hear, and uses <laughs> new babies. stuff on the bezels. Yeah, I'm sure when they're like, hey, uh, invite to come to the event, and they're they're going to have like a little checkbox like, hey, did you put tape on the front of your iMac? <laughs> did you do it? Did you do that? <laughs> Get out. Dude, uh, Tim <laughs> Cook is just going to be his own bodyguard now because he's- He could, dude. Dude's jacked. He's How old is he? Like 85 or something? No, he's 60. He's 60, remember? Because we talked about how oh, he's going to be yeah. retiring in the next 10 years. Oh, now I'm sad. Way to way to I ruin know. it. Way to bring down I the know. mood on the show. I know. Can we All get right, Tim so, Cook as a guest? Can, can somebody help us get Tim Cook on? Yeah. So I messaged him and he said, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he Dude, said he'll think Apple's about it. PR person would be in the, hospitalized if they knew he was coming on this show. Because they know that we just like are comfortable talking about whatever with like limited boundaries, uh-huh. which makes it really fun. And like, that's why I love doing the podcast, but like anytime tick, uh, Tim, tick cook, uh, <laughs> Tim cook does tick cum. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anytime he does an interview, it's so controlled, so chill. This like, is the opposite of that. This would be the yeah. opposite of that all the way. Yeah. He'd probably, I mean, to be fair, like it would also just be like two sub 30 year olds talking to like a 60 year old guy. <laughs> what like, about, we, okay, we're a bit, what if Tim had his own podcast and it was called Good Morning? Dude, that's a million dollar idea. That's what I'm saying. Well, now he I'll, owes us a guest spot. He should come on the show and he can have that idea for free. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. We have discussed like podcast, you know, because we we like approached the show like very carefully for like when, you know, I came to you with the idea and when we first talked about it and we were just like, we just don't want to be boring. And like, I do love Tim Cook, but I will say, well, I don't know. So there, there's some people that are like somewhat monotone and simple when they talk that I could listen to forever. And I feel like Tim Cook actually could be that person, but I feel like there's also other people in like, not just the tech space, but do podcasts in general that are just like so boring. You're just like sleeping because nothing's happening. And I don't <laughs> so know. <this> show. <laughs> I wonder w- would Tim Cook be entertaining enough to do his own podcast? Yeah. Tim, just an hour of pure uncensored Tim. I wonder, mm. it makes me wonder like, when he hangs out with people, his friends, is he just, is he fun for them? I always wonder what that's like when you're like an Elon Musk or, or Oh, Elon seems super fun. But Tim, I wonder if like (sighs) this, there's like a version of Tim that we see and then he's like fucking crazy at home. He's just like clubbing it up, (laughs) like getting, getting numbers, like taking names. I don't know. Have you ever seen like a picture of Tim out and about? Has anyone spotted him and be like, Hey, there's Tim at Starbucks. That was on my mind recently because I was like, you know, TMZ will take pictures of like anyone when they're out that that's famous. Right. And like Tim Cook is never at Nobu. Tim what Cook the is fuck never, is a Nobu? You don't know what Nobu is? No, dude? I don't want to. I don't know boo what a Nobu is. You, you go to Saddle Ranch? The fuck is a Saddle Ranch? <laughs> what are you saying? Are you just making things up? It's where the TikTok up? kids go, John. It's where when you and I move to LA <laughs> in a few years, that's what we'll be like walk. Do you think, do you, th- have you ever gotten like approached by like a big media outlet for a story? Like, do you think a TMZ type would cover you at, at all if you were like at LA, like hanging out with? <laughs> I hope not. Definitely that hope not. That would be weird. Uh, but, yeah, no, I've, cool I've been asked goes. for interviews. Like uh, my last one was for USA Today. I think that's what it was. But it wasn't like, hey, we just want to talk about John Pross or the person. I think it was about the fucking Pixel phone or something. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this. I think I am, but apparently Uh-oh. there's a print magazine in the UK and I'm going to be included in a story uh, in, I think, May about like the Apple community. Yep, you just broke an NDA. <laughs> I didn't sign I an know. NDA. Yeah. I didn't sign an NDA because I would never break it. Apple, again, take notes. I don't break NDAs, and I do mean that. Um, and it was a really cool interview. Um, it was this guy named, I think- That was a few weeks Jan- ago, wasn't it? It's James. not out yet? yeah. Yeah, it was a really fun interview. It was just kind of like him firing questions at me and me kind of reacting, and it was good. I, it was a really good experience because um, I it was fun, and he asked me some questions that made me think rather than, what color is the new iPhone going to be in this year? <laughs> That's the question I got for the yeah. Pixel phone. <laughs> Do, and you don't know when it's coming out? It's like a physical print magazine? Uh, Yeah, that's what, what he the, said. Is there going to be a picture of you in it? I hope so. Good thing My, they got the good. I hope they use a picture of you from before your haircut. Me too. <laughs> it's growing on me, but you know, literally. But I, I, I do. I, you know, I'm real. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. But I, I do want to. I have a dream that one day, like this podcast, will be interviewed by like a GQ, and they'll like do a professional photo shoot, and like With you and us? I will get like flown out Dude. somewhere. <laughs> that would be so fun to have like professionally taken pics, like. Like could I GQ could I say style. no and just send you just by yourself? Dude, like, ah, Sam represents us both. That'd be really fun. But I would want I'll you just there do too. That. Nah, that'd be fun. No, dude, uh, Rona is almost not as terrible, so we should meet up. We have to. We only live. I think it's a five and a half hour drive. Five hour drive. Is it? Yeah. That's that's borderline. Get on a plane instead. <laughs> four four hour flight. <laughs> what? Why is it yep, a four hour flight? From wait, have you said the city that you live in yet? No. We're not gonna say the city. Yeah. From uh Missouri to Arkansas, <laughs> where where we live respectively, <laughs> yeah. it was a four hour flight because why don't we just get on your private jet? 
we just didn't want to break it out this early. I mean, it's getting cleaned right now. New wheels, you know. Right, right. Understandable. I don't, I don't want to mess it up. Uh, yeah, we, we do need to, though. Okay, so there's some stuff I want to talk about with this, with this MacBook leak that came out. If you want to call it a leak, I don't even know what you can call it. But Dude, this story. First, like, wait. Was... Wait. Sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. You, you were take so this alarmed. one. No, you take this one. All right. I, I can't handle being shut down. Oh, are you okay, bud? We VPN. You know him. You love him. Uh, Sam and I, like, I hope at this point, dude, when someone hears We VPN, they see our faces. Yeah. They just like the brand recognition. I, I feel like we're the, like their biggest mascots, just with it's, less fur. It's We VPN's birthday, guys. It is it's their birthday. And I've seen YouTube comments being like. It's been their birthday for weeks. Listen, it's their birthday month, okay? What, you're not cool enough to have a whole birthday month? What's wrong with you? The other VPNs aren't cool enough, but we VPN <laughs> Exactly. Is. When's the last because time you heard about the other VPNs having a whole fucking birthday month? Not never. No, because they've been not out forever, never. and they're boring. The other ones are outdated. The other ones are probably slowing down because nobody cares about them anymore. See, when you guys go to wevpn.com slash Genius Bar and you use code Genius Bar... You guys get access to this whole network of servers, to this new type of VPN that just looks at you guys as like, we really care because we're a growing, expanding company rather than just another number on X or Y or Z VPNs list. It's like, oh, and we And think about them, care. dude. These dudes had a comfortable job. They worked for these other VPN companies, getting paid. All they had to do was show up to work. Yep. Right. They don't have to build their own VPN, deal with all these problems, but they were just at work where they were comfy. But you know what? They didn't agree with the practices, the sketchy ass practices from these other VPNs so much so that they left. They said, fuck y'all and left and built their own VPN, put in the work, built their own platform, their own VPN. Uh, and that's why we believe in them. So if it, 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 we don't need to tell you what a VPN is. You know what they are. Some of you are probably using a VPN right now. If you are, drop that. <laughs> Drop that VPN and give WeVPN a try. Sam yeah. and I put our names on it. That's how you know you can trust it. Uh, you get 73% mm. off right now. Two months free. Just two sixty nine, sixty nine, two sixty nine a month. Uh, and WeVPN.com slash Genius Bar will get you there. Of course, the link will be down in the YouTube description as well as, as the, uh, the show notes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you're listening to. And you don't have an excuse. We've been talking about WeVPN for so long that if, you, yep. if you're listening to us right now and you still don't have it, now's your last chance or else. They were the first ever podcast sponsor that we had here on Genius Bar. Are we allowed to threaten people for if they don't use WeVPN? Is that against <laughs> no, like the no, guideline anywhere? You guys, uh, you guys will love, you guys will love it. <laughs> I'm going to zoom into your face at the end. You guys will love it. Yeah. Um, uh, you okay. guys are going to love it. We Thanks, WeVPN, for supporting the show. Thank you Again. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, WeVPN. Okay. What the hell happened with this Dude, MacBook leak? I like am still processing. When I was writing about this this week on AppleTrack.com, I could not. Like, I, I was like working on this story for a while because I was like, first of all, I want to do things ethically. And right. I messed up because at first I just posted the like stolen document and I was like, oh, this is bad. Like we we have to get into the context here because this is one of those stories that like I never thought a leak would come about this way, you know? Okay, so for here's here's how I found out. I started getting DMs on Twitter with schematics of the new MacBook Pro and very detailed stuff and uh, how do I say this? Because I don't want to give them credit. It was the DMs were from group. yeah. The DMs were from people from this hacking group who were who hadn't even they weren't being clear and honest with me. But they weren't being transparent about how they got it. They came to me uh, like trying to get me to publish the information, and I di I didn't. Not and I, it's I didn't even know yet what had happened. Um, I just didn't publish it because they were the only they were the only people giving the information to me, and I don't, and I just traditionally don't publish information from one person or one source. Um, and so that's the main reason why I didn't cover it, and I'm glad that I didn't post them. I can show you the DMs, but turns out uh, it was complete extortion. Like this hacking group stole it from what was it? 
Qu- what is it? Quanta. 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 Computer. Yeah. Which is a, a supplier so, that works on some of this stuff. They Quanta. St- they hacked. Them. Got breached. Hard. Hard. <laughs> They got breached hard. <laughs> and um, it was done by the hacking group. And essentially, rather than just like, well, first of all, this is We are not, weird. by the way, we're we're purposely not saying their name. So mm-hmm. we're just saying hacking group. And we're not going to show you images because ethically, if it would feel weird if we did that. Because generally leaks work in one of two ways. One, it's an Apple employee who gets paid by Apple that's just really excited about something that wants to share it with other people because they like the community just as much as we do, like, you know, the people disconnected third parties of Apple. B, it's someone building the products generally over in Asia who is on the supply line and they see, oh, the new iPhone or the new iMac, (laughs) for it is a callback, has white (laughs) bezels. Like, the new iMac has white bezels. I'm going to tell somebody else about that. I want to tell Love to Dream this. And then love to dream finds out and we'll share it in some way. And obviously Apple doesn't love that because they want to have control over the narrative Apple and they want to be able to tell you. Apple does not love to dream, you. correct. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you know, I think I was thinking like, I was like, well, it like sort of made me reflect on like how I cover leaks and like what I do. And I was like, is what I do ethical? Because Apple doesn't want any of this. And I was like, yes, because this is not harming someone along the way. Like the the good outweighs the harm. The good to get people in the community excited and to have something to talk about in the monotonous day-to-day life on this rock that we live on is worth it just because like even if it makes Apple a bit upset, it does not have a tangible impact on like Apple sales or something like that. And, like I don't, I and don't we are not argument. taking the inf- like the information is being given to us like consensually. We are reporting it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> maybe Apple didn't give consent. For Apple us to did get, not give consent, it, but, but maybe somebody working on the project that cares about it did. Correct. It's a completely yes. different realm of things when you when you first of all you hack a supplier, steal the information. And then you exploit that that supplier, you extort them, and what did they want? Like fifty million dollars. That 50 is million. that's fucked up, and that is why we're not saying the hacking group's name. We're not showing the images because no, they get exactly what they want. Like they're they are threatening to publish this information if they don't get fifty million dollars, and it helps if. You know, people like us when we're talking about it, if yeah. we don't, if we don't, you know, add to that and publish information for them. And listen, it's that the whole the whole concept is super fucking lame. And mm-hmm. if you are a tech news outlet, a website, and you have said the name of the hacking group or you have published the the information or the uh, the images directly from them, that is also super fucking lame. Yeah. And I just don't I don't agree with that. It's the same reason why. I mean, it's not anywhere on the same level but it's the like it's almost like the same concept and the same thing i believe like when when there's a mass shooting that we don't say the mass shooter's mm. name i agree uh, with like we completely. don't we don't post their pictures and plaster mm. them and like you know glorify all that stuff i don't want to glorify a hacking group that fucking stole all this information and then extorted for 50 million dollars and i mean they haven't been paid correct i, I don't hope not. think so so i was talking to um I don't want to say their name, but it was somebody who's like a, a source in for Apple stuff. And, you know, we sort of like, we're just talking about this and he was like, dude, Quanta is completely idiotic for, or, no, sorry, not Quanta, the hacking group. He's like, dude, these guys are stupid. Like there are numerous, if not hundreds of ex FBI, CIA and other US governmental agency people that work for Apple in case something like this happens. Yeah, they are going to get their assholes lit on fire. (laughs) It just seems like a really silly and honestly like naive call. Like do this to a one plus if you're going to. I'm not condoning any of this. Yeah, we're not. No, watch one plus is next. And every (laughs) no, don't don't hurt one plus. I actually they have a special place in my heart for just being like, you know, unique a little bit. So yeah, I I don't support it at any time. But like, why go after Apple? Like or or. You can steal the stuff. And I feel like it'd be more acceptable to just leak it on your own to make Apple mad, but you can't, you can't blackmail them. You can't ask for $50 million. Like I think if they would have just stolen this information and shared it, it would have been a bit more acceptable, even though ethically it would still be wrong. But like the fact that they stole it and then are like, 
give us 50 million bucks. <laughs> that's just, <laughs> it's the same thing. What am I trying to argue here? It's bad. They shouldn't have done it either. You shouldn't steal stuff it's from like people. It's like ransomware that, that you would like do to somebody's grandma that accidentally clicked yes. the wrong link. And it's like, we want $300. Or else you can't use your computer anymore. Yeah. This is that, but like to the absolute wrong company to do it to. So talking about the leak, <laughs> it didn't tell us anything new. That's really. the best part, dude. They did all this shit. They asked for $50 million over information that we already knew. It didn't tell us a single goddamn new thing at all. It's no. all, We've already heard it from German from Ming Chi Kuo or Kuo Ming Chi, Kuo, that's how we say Kuo it now. Ming Chi. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we, it's not new information. We knew it. No. We knew Which it. Which is HDMI port is returning, the SD card slot is coming back, MagSafe is returning, and that there's going to be like a USB four, basically USB C four. So these are things that we've heard. But they, I they mean, did they threatened that if they didn't get their money, if they didn't get their fifty million dollars, that they were going to release more. But I mean, if this is what you started with, information that we already knew, if that was like your Hail Mary, what 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 is left? There was a sick part of me that was like, maybe there'll be something super exclusive and cool. And then I was like, Sam, <laughs> Sam. Dude, you would think Flat, if there was something can't. super exclusive and cool, they would have started with it. Yeah. I mean, they released like the IMAX schematics as well, but it was the day that it was announced. So it's like, how confident are you really? Like- it feels weird. I, I think they're just screwed around. It, it feels kind of like an operation that a bunch of kids pulled off. Like, because <laughs> they we're going to release stuff every day. Okay, well, I haven't seen what anything What a ridiculous since the number day. to ask for as well. $50 million for some fucking schematics. No, Apple's not going to pay that. Now, it would be interesting if they actually did have more and they were releasing things every day. Like, like imagine if it would have been like a video that you released of like air tags, you know, like a spinning mm-hmm. product. Um, Which, by thing. the way, I have now identified what that was. Remember, I uh, so I, I put out the initial renders of air tags with the final design. But then mm-hmm. like three months ago, maybe I think it was three months ago, I posted like a legitimate uh, video from Apple of yes. them spinning. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Turns out that is from, uh, do I have a, hang on, I think I took a screenshot. Well, Please hold. So it's this. Well, your call is being transferred. Yeah, so this is, can, oh, fuck me, too bright. Okay, so this is what I released, the spinning video. This yep. is this. Whoa. See? See that? Whoa. You see that? There, That's it, dude. Uh, that is like when you are, oh, by the way, it helps if you're watching the video podcast, I guess oh, yeah. uh, for audio <laughs> listeners, it's the, like when you're actually searching for them, that green UI that comes up and you're like walking around and it's like helping you find it. Uh, that is, it's from that UI screen that, that my video is from apparently. Dude, the accuracy of that air tag leak was so good. Like you just nailed it. Like nobody even I came didn't. close. <laughs> I didn't. This is- A certain source did. Yeah. Um, was that from the good good? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Um, <laughs> Who's to say, so really? For for anyone that doesn't know, by the way, this is an inside joke that John and I have with... There's this source that John has that's really good. Like, he's a, he's 100%. Absolutely. Right. Has not missed He's a never gotten thing. one thing right. Wrong. Only source in the game to say there's going to be an April event. Only person... To say there was going to be iMac colors, yeah, like, like, just you know, even to give the description of like similar to the iPad Air, which they dude, are, they dude, are so dude, similar. Dude, I just it just clicked in my head. It just clicked in my head. He was the one that said that the iMac was coming earlier than German said. Remember, because yeah. German said it wasn't coming till later in the year, and and this source was like, I don't know about that. He was like, I think that's nuts. He was kind of like April. Yeah, he or she. That's I don't ridiculous. Know um, like this source. I forgot is crazy. about that so, part. I, I made a joke one time when John texted me. He was like, dude, the source sent me something. I, I was like, which source? The good good? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. anytime we say the good good, we're yeah. referring to the the source that has given wild information that we would never believe or understand, but that has been 100% accurate. And like, we will never doubt again. Like, we will never I've doubted doubt. twice. 
I've doubted We've twice. Doubted twice. And, and it's what been, happened? We got, got slapped on the ass <laughs> and not in a good way. Yeah. Not in a good way. We got fucked pretty hard both of those times. The first time was like, they said the event was in April and I was like, nah, March 23rd. And then I had to shave off my eyebrows. And then uh, even after we, even after they said April event, just a couple of weeks ago, you and I were on the show being like, I don't think there's an event. I think the source is wrong. And then yeah. days later was announced. God fucking damn it. It was a big event. It was, was dude, event. best best one in years. So much so that news has been in, insanely slow since then. We've just all been talking <laughs> about the I'm not colors for two weeks. We did get this really great story about iOS 15 from German. And it's what I would consider to be the first credible report. Like McGuire Wood has shared that like the control center will like look different and it'll look similar mm-hmm. to Mac OS, but like he doesn't have a super established so, track record just yeah, yet. And those are tough leaks th- to roll with because it's just yeah. like the control center will be not the same. And you're just like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. thank you very but much. German really had a great first look. And um, I'm looking at the story right now on appletrack.com for, for what's coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, headline thing being that the iPad home screen is getting better. Like, even that's but, a fucky leak. It will be better. <laughs> but I'm not convinced. Oh, so basically what, I, what what German says that they're doing is going to allow you to place widgets anywhere and even have a page with zero apps on it and just have widgets. But my counterpoint to that is <clears throat> that's not enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> like we put an M1 chip in the iPad Pro to have more widgets. I will tell you right now, no one that would need the power of the M1 chip cares about widgets. No. They're fun. I love I I have my home screen. I've had this setup on my home screen like forever with the the widgets and, and everything. Mm-hmm. I, I love the weather. <laughs> Hang on, what was that? How are you trying to hold that? <laughs> he was like holding it behind his mic and shit. Can, can you guys see the screen? My widgets. I, don't know. I, you I see was that scared. Sam? I, I had see a, my I widgets? Had a... Can you see him? <laughs> God um, damn it. So new iPad home screen is coming. Yes. But it, it didn't convince me that it's going to be better. It just sounds like what should okay. have been in iOS 14. So that was okay, a bit Sam. disappointing. Pro apps. Do you John, think we're you're going to the pro apps. Well, a year ago you said we were. <laughs> that is what I said. So are we, do you think we're finally getting them? Uh, the stars are aligned. The stars are aligned. When I said that, it was this crazy fucking ridiculous leak. Apple will never do that because then why would you buy a Mac? Or mm-hmm. there's not enough RAM in the iPad. Now, there's a f- the same processor that's in the Mac is in the iPad Pro. And it goes up to 16 gigs of RAM. You tell me. Why would they do that unless you we did. were going to get Pro apps? You lied, though. What do you mean? You said they were coming within the next year. Nah, I looked. I looked. It no. says technically year or so. We are in the or so part. You, we that are in is going to be marked so wrong on your track part. record. Those are going to be three reds. <laughs> we are in the... Wait, that counts three different leaks? Yeah, because you said each individual app. No! Pro, <laughs> I should have said pro apps. No, no, no. You said I am convinced that Logic, Xcode, and Final Cut Pro, That's which are three distinct You're properties. You're counting them as three? Yeah. That's it. My AirTag leak, every letter on the fucking thing should be a, nu- a separate point. Every letter, Sam. <laughs> so I do believe that, that the pro apps are coming. German did not say that. He didn't. Which is But just because he doesn't weird, say it. Like he have, also okay. didn't say an iMac was coming. And Here's the thing. Boop. Exactly. Exactly. Because we, I, I realized, I was like, we don't even need leaks. You and I were basically the I would say I was really the only person that confidently said for about a month that the iMac was coming. Like I was convinced yeah, from the beginning. Heart. And I'm proud of that call because yes, I had like heard a couple of things, but I wasn't 100%, but it was mainly because I just saw the invite connected to the iPad Air invite and was also like we're getting this. Um that being said for the pro apps on the iPad, there's no evidence against it. If the also, M1 Oh yeah, MacBook I guess there is Pro, evidence for it like the M1 the 16 M1, gigs of RAM. The RAM. Uh, the fact that... W- h- did you hear that it's coming? Or Wait, like how... No, what I, made no, you no, make no. that I call? didn't just post it on Twitter as like a prediction. Okay. Yeah. So you had heard a, a year. Right. Have you... You've heard nothing since? No. Uh-uh. No. But to be fair... Um, so I'm kind of ruthless with sources. Like what, if they fuck up... Out. Uh, and... The 
one so I had a like a handful of software sources that had been correct before. It mm-hmm. wasn't like they were always wrong. But after that one they hit me with that one iPhone OS thing and I was like <laughs> peace out, see you later. Bye. Uh so yeah, I get software tidbits here and there, but I typically don't mention them because last time I did, uh set me up for a disaster. Mm-hmm. WWDC, like the last maybe four events have been like golden for me. But yeah. right before that was dub dub last year. And that was a train wreck for me. Absolute yeah. train wreck. Yeah, that was not a great time. But you've been killing it lately. No. You've definitely done a good job of, you know, getting the right sources. And I, I think that perhaps are coming. I mean, they have to be. Why would we not see Final Cut? Are we getting iPad? 16 gigs on the iPad to scroll through Twitter and watch YouTube? To be fair, though, I mean, I... <sighs> I'm going to say it. Like... I'm just going to say it. Go ahead. I what don't get the iPad as a computer thing. I Wait, don't. what? I, I'm, I'm not into it because it still feels like a compromise. It just feels like a compromise. Even if they put Mac OS on the iPad. I have a MacBook. Like it just, it doesn't do it for me. And I never see a world. I will probably eat these words in a couple of years. Yeah. So you're going to eat, it. You're gonna eat so hard. <laughs> but I do not see a world where I would prefer to use the iPad over a MacBook. I, I mean, I personally like, I use my iPad Air for everything that I usually like. I'll write the show that way. Uh, all my notes for Genius Bar when we record, I have them there. Uh, media consumption is there. Uh, the only thing that I don't use it for is like, you know, when I'm editing the show or doing something in Photoshop. But Adobe has openly said that they are working on like a full version of Photoshop for the iPad, in which case, uh, see you later computer it's just like to me that's the perfect portable device that is just like a hybrid of all the things that i need and want and with the magic keyboard that that totally transformed like Mm -hmm. my use case for for the ipad and i think for i mean maybe it doesn't work for you or like i guess people like us but for i would say for 95 percent of people the iPads are more than enough, especially with the Magic Keyboard, even without that. But I feel like there's no argument that could possibly go against the whole, is the iPad a computer replacement? Because for 95% of people, I feel it absolutely is. You're right. You're right. You're You're right. You're right. <laughs> um, because you're right. My, 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 I'm coming from the perspective of it's not enough for me. But I am not Apple's customer base, and you are. You are. I mean, we are part of the customer base, but like, but it is. It's even more confusing now because yeah, ninety five percent of people don't need sixteen gigs of RAM in their iPad. Why yeah, do they do I, that? Unless they're. Do you think they're setting something up for like some sort of? I mean, obviously they know their plans further along than we do. Yes. And sixteen gigs feels weird this year because it seems like overkill. Unless we got pro apps this year, but is the is there something that they're working on that we don't know about that there's going to be some crazy transition in the next few years where there is no more Max? It would have to be. But did you notice in every single interview they say we're not combining the iPad and the Mac? Hey, every single interview they've done three separate interviews now. One with TechCrunch. Uh, I think one with a YouTuber and then one with another outlet and they say the same thing. Like they say this, they're asked the same question, but then they put, M1 the, and they, put they put the M1 in there, M1 the- and MacBook, which again, I personally I feel like they're don't, lying. I don't get it. And I think that there's probably somebody that works at Apple that is just like laughing and they're just going to be like, wait, are the good goods watching this? And he's going to be like, oh my God, this guy <laughs> has no idea like yeah. what's about to happen. <laughs> but I am actually, I've been thinking about this as far as the M1. There are now five Apple products that have the same exact processor inside. Yeah. That's how, but think about how ballsy that updates. is. That's how confident they are. And listen, I am like the number one M1 fan. I am so bullish on Apple Silicon. I am, you know, that's why I'm getting the iMac. Like this is not an Apple Silicon hate, but I find it weird with the different price structures. Yeah. That they all have the same chip. But think about how ballsy that is though. Like, 
to have it in the iPad and a Mac. And like, there's like, I mean, what is it's, we're starting to get to that point where if you can do most of your things on an iPad, you're like, why would you buy a Mac? A Mac that this is what's confusing me. Well, here's and what I think I, is going to happen, Sam. Okay. Lay it on me. Let me see if I can make sense of this. I okay. think, and I'm pretty sure about this. I, this is just a prediction, by the way, this is not a leak. This is not information that I have. This is just what I, what feels right in my bones in my balls. I think that we're just moving away from Intel currently, and so we're getting the new designs with the M1 chips and all the things. But I think we're going to get, I think there's going to be two separate lines. I think there's going to be like the M1X or M2X, M3X, and the X chips are going to be in the more pro-level devices. And then like the base level iMac and like MacBook Air will get you know, M1, M2, M3, and the pros will have M2X, M3X, have something more powerful because I can't see a world where every product category across the board has the same processor. I don't think it. That sounds right to me. But part of me is just like, when are we going to put M1 in the iPhone? Oh, I mean, would they, do you think? You think they would do that? Are we heading there that way? I mean, they got rid of it on the iPad Pro. Like, but did they, they do it because the that's the Pro iPad Pro? I don't know. I don't know. It just feels weird that they all have the same chip. It's weird it to think that it, it, it's just. And There's for Dub something... Dub last year, when they were like, when they started making that transition or announcing that transition, didn't they mm. ship a Mac Mini to developers with like an A chip in it? Yeah, it was like an A12X or something. So, I mean, theoretically, they could just swap them back and forth. They could do whatever the fuck they want. And and we've heard that like the M1 is basically just the A14X. That mm-hmm. like it's it's basically the same thing. And... uh I I think there's something about the homogeneousness. Is is that what? Who is that? Who is this? Every person? everything like <laughs> becoming. <laughs> it's supposed to be me. I don't know what that oh, was. That was funny. <laughs> um, I, I'm worried about the homogeneity of. What are you saying? What is that word? I'm worried about everything becoming the same because it's fueled by the same thing. And I'm worried that Apple's fear about everything becoming the same and you know our distinct product lines are different could uh-huh. be muddied by them putting the same processor in everything. I agree. I agree, but I'm like, I'm just trusting. No, I that know that they vision... like got it. It just is weird, you know. I, I like. Yeah, I'm here for it. I think the M1 iPad Pro is freaking phenomenal. Like, I can't wait to but get it's mine. Weird. It's a weird move if there's no like software advancements that allow us to use that. That's what I'm saying. It's like, what's the point? Like, why why did we switch from A series to M series? Exactly. If you, but if you have the iPad Pro and that product category unlocks uh, a suite of software experiences that you don't get on the iPad Air or like your iPhone, then it makes sense. But to just put an M1 in the iPad Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, just because you can, just because fuck it, that sounds like a Samsung thing where they're like, Samsung would always make all these weird like decisions and moves to do stuff just because they could. Like the yeah. original, uh, what was it? The Galaxy cur- Curve? It wasn't like, it was just the the edge i think it was called the edge like the s7 edge or something where just one side of the phone had a curved display okay (laughs) like you could buy the regular phone and then you could buy one just because they they could curve the glass and you're like okay cool you could do that that's fantastic technology is amazing okay but why yeah and i i feel like we're getting to unless their vision is like of something more substantial in software cool you can do that with hardware uh but why and Apple doesn't feel like a but why company. If I feel like everything should have a reason and a purpose, and if it doesn't, I'm going to be very confused. So I hope yeah. Dub, I hope Dub Dub gives us some insight. And in like, even if we don't get pro apps this year, fine. But I hope we get some sort of insight in like what their vision is for this machine moving forward. Because we, I don't think we got a good look at that during the event. 
it was just that cool ad with Tim Cook like breaking in and that putting was cool. the M1 and the iPad Pro. It was a great hype for I love it, that. but I just don't see why. And, and it, I think it goes down to like, I, I like a lot of the products individually and I'm just like, well, if they all have the same amount of power, right? why do they run different operating systems? Why do they look different? Why do they... Like I get it because there's there's applications for it. I just like you said, we just need more information, and I'm sure I'm gonna be laughing at myself in a, in a couple months and be like, "Dude, was I really like thinking about this?" <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it's just like they they haven't explained it. Like they did the fun stuff with M1 Mac processor and iPad. This thing's crazy, mm-hmm. but you haven't announced anything that right. will be better because of it at all. Penis cross, Sam. Same. <laughs> Penis Penis cross. Cross, man. I hope I hope we get more information. Uh, but that's it for today's episode. This week's yeah. episode. Uh, just a reminder: if you if you've been listening to these episodes every single week, um, completely brand new thing. We have launched a video version of the show uh, on YouTube. We're going to link it down in the show notes if you want to watch the show. And of course, if you're watching this, like Subscribe. a lot of people, you notice that a lot of people on YouTube they were like, "This is my first time seeing or listening to Genius Bar." Yeah. For those people, if you're like, "Wow, this is a great show." Fucking hate looking at him though. <laughs> you can click the link down in the description. We, you can just listen to the show <laughs> on yeah. Apple Podcasts or whatever podcast app you you use. I don't care what you use. Just listen to the show. And God thanks again to our sponsors, Magic Spoon. And Magic WeVPN. Spoon and WeVPN. Uh, cereal sounds so good right now. I will go Dude, kill I've some been, cereal, but I ate it all. <laughs> I, I have some left. I think I'm gonna smashable, but I also need to eat dinner still. Did yeah, you eat dinner yet today? Do you, there's a lot of pro, there's a lot of protein. In the cereal, that's good enough for dinner. Dude, I've been going out to eat so much. I don't want to go out, but it just no. I'm I'm eating at home. I'm not going out. I'm gonna eat some raviolis and a salad. Look at that! You just you made the decision here. What a healthy uh, adult decision you just made at the end of the show. And then dessert. <laughs> and then dessert. All right, guys. Uh, thanks we for listening, watching everywhere. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. We love don't you guys. Thank you, Genius Bar, forever. Bye bye. Bye guys. Later.